I say March comes in like a lion a lot of the times, and it looks like uh, that we'll be coming in today. Actually, happy spring, everybody, as well. It's the first day of meteorological spring. Astronomical spring doesn't start till the 19th, though. Watch as warnings and fires where you can see the areas in pink. These are winter storm warnings covers just about the entire western part of the state. Also, have a winter weather advisory in effect. This is for the uh, Green River Basin down here. Maybe one up here across the Bighorns. That won't be till Saturday, though. You also see the uh, high wind uh, warning stretching from uh, Jeffrey City up toward the Casper area. You want to start end times on these? Just go to our website right there, weather.gov slash RIW. As we time out the impacts, periods of snow will continue across the western mountains. They've been snowing pretty much most of the night. They'll continue through the day. Gusty wind as well, especially in the morning hours. Have that strong to high wind as well. A little bit more limited today, mainly confined to areas safe from Muddy Gap up through Casper. A little bit breezy in other places, but core the wind not there yet. Friday night, periods of snow continue in the west. It's going to get really heavy after midnight, though, maybe one to two inches an hour snowfall rates. Once you decrease a little bit east of the divide, then it picks back up again on Saturday. I think this will probably be the strongest winds across the area on Saturday as the uh, front was across the area. Snow continues in the west. Heaviest through about 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon, then it should begin to let off just a little bit. And shower is also possible east of the divide as our front comes across on Saturday. Maybe a couple of thunderstorms as well. A little bit of instability there, so you see a flash of lightning, a couple of rumbles of thunder on Saturday afternoon east of the divide. Don't be surprised. Now, these expected wind gusts across the area. You can see generally about 50 to 60 on an average across areas where people actually live. Higher gusts across the uh, higher elevations, but you go up there this time of year, you're probably a Darwin Award winner. Now, the strongest winds for most areas are probably going to be during the day on Saturday, especially in the afternoon as that cold front sweeps across the area. During the day today, the strongest winds are from Jeffrey City up toward the Casper area. Now, uh, probabilistic stuff as far as how much snow we're going to get, it's safe to see one inch or more. This is mainly a western device to see just about 100% across most of the western mountains. About a one to two chance around Rock Springs. You get east of the divide though, Highest chance around Cody, maybe about a 40% chance, or most other areas about 20% or less. Maybe an inch around Buffalo, but again, very small chance there. Hardest hit areas basically uh, across uh, western Wyoming as well as southern Wyoming. This won't be until later on Saturday. I bumped this up to six inches or more. Mainly confined to the big horns maybe here, but biggest emphasis, you see this huge area of uh, blue across the area, just about 100% chance of seeing six inches or more. Bumped this up to a foot. Look, even in the western valleys out here, a very good chance of seeing that. They were from about 1 to 2 around Afton, about a 90% chance around Alpine, and an 80 to 90% chance across much of the uh, Jackson Valley as well, and a 100% chance across these western mountains. Some really impressive snowfall totals. I'm going to show you starting right now. Now, expect at least this much snow across the area, anywhere from about 6 to 12 inches across the western valleys at a minimum. At least 2 inches around Pinedale, maybe less than an inch around the big Piney area. 1 to 2 across southern Lincoln County. Now, east of the divide, we may just get some flurries. It's going to be fairly warm out in this area, so some of the precipitation may come down as mainly as rain in some of these areas. I bumped this up to the likely maximum amount. East of the divide, anywhere from about one to two inches of things set up right, maybe a little bit more across Sweetwater County, I 80, but focus obviously goes here across areas west of the divide. You can see things set up right, maybe as much as uh, 20, 21 inches across portions of the uh, Jackson Valley. Maybe up to two feet around Alpine and things set up right, but look at these bright colors right here across the Tetons, Wind Rivers, here, southwestern Yellowstone. That starts at three feet, 36 inches. So some places up here could maybe pick up maybe four feet. It wouldn't surprise me if you had an isolated total of things set up right, maybe 50 inches of snow by the time this winds down as we head towards Saturday evening. And our most likely accumulation across the area, areas east of the divide, Anywhere from a coating to an inch, best chance of seeing an inch around Lander, maybe Buffalo, around the Cody area, maybe the south side of Casper as well. Maybe anywhere from a trace to two inches across I-80. Get up toward the Green River Basin more there, one to four around Big Piney. About four to eight inches around Pinedale, much more as you head toward Bondurant though. But again, where's our emphasis? Over here across the uh, western valleys, anywhere say from about, let's say 10 to 20 inches on average across this area. 20 might be pushing it in the uh, valleys for the most likely amount, but very good chance of seeing the foot there. And the brightest colors right there are Tetons, southwestern Yellowstone. More than likely going to see probably two to three feet of snow at least out of this storm. Here's our resources. You want weather? You know where to go. Weather.gov slash RW. For road conditions, again, don't call us for the road conditions. These are the best places to go. On the web, go to yoroad.info. 
You want to call them on the phone in state, call 511 out of state, 188 Wild Road. Now, webcams, you want to take a look at them for yourself. We have webcams from all over the state. Go to our homepage, go to the local programs tab, and go down to webcams. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.